Healy Gaming here, and today we're playing Raid Shadow Legends, and we are on the free-to-play. Now, what's behind my head is one Void Shard. Um, last I left you was a couple days ago, as far as my gameplay um, goes. So I actually figured I should probably check in and continue the series a little bit better here. I've been really busy. I didn't even think I um, actually need to stream in like half an hour, so I'm not even going to get my full hour of gameplay in today. So what I'll probably do is next reset, actually add on um, some extra time to that one to make up for my lack of what I can do today. But I'm going to try to quickly get through and do my dailies. But before I get to my dailies and show you where I left off at, let's see what I get with this one void shard. Now I know there's going to be um, a 10 times event for in the summon rush, but there's no point of me waiting, honestly. Waiting for the summon rush. Pulling one void shard, I'm not exactly going to get much, so we're rolling here. Ugh. Ugh. Come on. What do we got? Alrighty, we've got chance of stun on the A1, AoE decreased defense. Oh, right, he's the AoE decreased defense at least. Um, it's a small one, though. And chance of placing fear. Um, heals his champion. Okay. So he might be worth keeping for sake of Undead Horde Faction Wars for an AoE decreased defense. Plus his stun. A little bit of control there. Every time this champion or an ally kills an enemy. So it heals himself every time someone dies as well. So that'll be helpful for waves. If we struggle on some of the Faction War waves. Um, as, we kick, as we clear people, at least heal. I mean, he's a weird, strange-looking character, ain't he? But yeah, I've got to do my dailies, but let me just show you quick where I left off. We've got Alhain to level 50. I'm working on food. We have a few four-star chickens. Oh, this is where it gets really hard. I mean, yeah, I've got a bunch of 30s here already to turn to fours, but i got to get a lot. we got to get, what, 16 characters to a four-star to get Alhain to 60, I think it is? It's a lot. It's a grind. So we're going to be doing... Mostly with my uh, multi-battles for the end of the day, wherever I'm furthest at in campaign, which last I left was working on pushing through Brutal. I ran out of time here, so I think I just left off with this one. I think the last time I my multi-battles yesterday, I think I used just down here, just to work on grinding um, as much as we can to level up these people to be chickens for Elhane. So I'm going to continue the grind, and I am using a lot of rares as food as well as uncommons because, um, well, we need to get Alhain to level 60, but I am being careful about which ones I choose to do so with in case there's ones I think are valuable for faction wars. Um, I really got to start doing faction wars, especially when we have the, um, what am I doing? Especially when we have uh, advanced dailies opening up soon because I only am at level 32. Once I get to level 35, I'll be at advanced dailies and I'll probably have to increase this time, like I said, to two hours instead of one hour, but we'll see. But I'm going to pause and I'll check in if there's any note. Oh, I also wanted to note that I didn't even notice how cheap expanding the slots are as far as silver goes is. Um, I've expanded them quite a few times. I'm up to 90 now. It's really hard to work on farming and stuff when you haven't expanded the slots. So I have been working on the slots. Um, I wouldn't use gems unless... I, I mean, when it starts to get more expensive silver-wise, I start using gems. But you can use the silver early on to expand your collection. Obviously work on crunching as much as you can first. But um, yeah, definitely use that low level. Like it's super, super cheap silver wise in the beginning. Although it takes a while to get silver in the beginning too. But just use like your judgment. Don't, don't like, like I wouldn't do this now. I'm probably going to go and do some more crunching in the tavern before I do that. Because I don't want to kill my silver. Um, we actually have a lot of food items here. Oh boy. So I'm actually probably going to be bad and I'm probably going to do this. I'm probably going to... Although, she, is she the one I'm saving? Who's the one I'm saving? Not her. Not her. Oh, I already got her to level 30. Um, I'm probably going to do this. Not going to lie. Because we have a lot to pull. Mystery shards come really quickly when you start grinding campaign and magic keeps and all that stuff, so I don't feel too guilty about just crunching commons straight up, honestly. Uncommons I try to turn into level 20s first, um, 
But yeah, make sure you are not feeling too guilty about the commons, honestly. Don't feel too guilty. You get so many mystery shards, it's okay to just crunch them. Just noticed, um, I think I think it's time for me to crunch War Priest. I know I ascended her, I probably shouldn't have. I think we're gonna unlock her. Um I don't think she has gear worth keeping. No. I think it's time we turn her into a chicken. Um, to be honest. Oops, I need to get more. Need another three star first. Now those are fusion champions, but you get the on they get the uncommon so easily, I'm not too worried about that right now. Um and I have extras of most of them anyway. But yeah, I think I'm gonna turn War Priest into a chicken, and I think I'm gonna use Doom Screech as my fifth person. Um for one, he's void, so that's really helpful. Um also I think I have a ton of void potions right now, so we can get him rolling pretty easily. Um, I think he's also worth booking. His skills are actually really good. So let's take a look here. We have, I mean, hopefully we land here, of course. Fills the turn mirror of all allies by 30%, places 60% increased defense on allies for two turns. So he is great to make, for me right now, he'd be a perfect champion to make my fastest champion for arena. Obviously, he's not a speed lead, and we don't have one yet until we get Hyga Tune. But for now, he's going to be great as my speed lead in Arena, so I might try to make him level 40 as soon as possible as well. But um, AoE, attack, AoE, and then places a shield on this champion. Um, damage increases according to this champion's current HP. So he's HP-based, which is really great. Um, I think let's see if we get lucky with these books. Ooh, we got one. We got one in the cooldown. We are going to book him with these rare books. I'm not going to regret booking him for the sake of Undead Horde Faction Wars. He's really great for it as well. So I think we're going to go right ahead. Get this fella rolling. There we go. And we're doing some challenges along the way. Working our way toward an epic book. Very nice. Summon a rare spirit champion. Win a campaign battle using four champions a level higher. 40 or higher. Well, we can do that. So this, once I hit the rare spirit champion, I'll do that. But yeah, I'm excited. We got, we got him rolling. Oh, and I wanted to make more space, right? That's why we were doing what we were doing. We were crunching, we were crunching because I wanted to make more space. So we could do a 10 pull and why not do that in case we get a good rare? Come on. Where's our apothecary? Oh, okay. No rares this time around. All right. I'm going to go finish my dailies. Hopefully we have some more fun updates. Um, if I get any more ancient shards, we're definitely going to pull those. We have a double uh, Lego event going on where you get like a bonus legendary if you pull one. So we get really lucky. Hell yeah, we want to. So I'm going to see if there's any way for me to get any more ancient shards before I finish for today. Okay, and not an ancient shard. We got some 100 gems. Hello. And working our way toward a legendary book. All right, that's not so bad at all. Now this would be great to get this ancient shard here, but unfortunately we gotta wait. This one is involving each of the keeps, so it takes multiple days to complete this because you kinda gotta wait for each keep to open. So sadly, this ancient shard is gonna be sitting here waiting for me. Progress mission-wise, um, my next shard is a sacred at the bottom here, and then don't see any ancient shards. Well, here's one way down there, but dealing a million damage to the demon lord. All right, I've done that. Honestly, I've done all of this, but again, win 25 lesser void potions for the keeps. This is the stages where they make you wait every day to kind of progress. So what I need to do is just finish these ones and get to the next keep. We have spirit keep next to make sure I don't get behind because you don't want to have to wait a whole week for it to come around again or whatever. Well, I mean, it's not as bad there, but, um, like, the Void Keep, you don't want to miss that one when it's Sunday? Is it Sunday? I don't remember. Saturday, Sunday? It's on the weekend. And as far as Arena goes, I'm kind of at the point where I've hit a wall. Like, most of these teams I can beat, but it depends on their speed. We do have a Gorgorod that was dumb. They're going to be faster than me. Yep, they are. Speed lead sure helps. Um, this might still win. Hey. Come on. But I can win some of these, just not all of them, um, of course. And I'm at kind of the point where it's more like 50-50 if I win or not. And so I think I'm going to put back in my uh, a tanking nothing defense. 
That's one thing you should really do in Arena to make sure you can do your battles every day and not waste getting those medals for your Great Hall. Just make sure you go in, put a defense that's not really your defense. Because you don't want you don't want to put your best players in here if you're at a point where you're, it's too hard for you. Now, some of these I could probably beat just fine, like I said, which I'm gonna I'll be able to beat some of these. But um we're gonna take out Oh hey. We're just gonna put some randos in. We're gonna put you know, we'll put my food that's gonna be her food and Doom Screech. Sure, why not? He has no gear on him yet. You just put in a tanking defense. People tank on purpose. So you'll drop down to a lower point range and easier people to compete against. So you can start stacking up these um, medals. You really need to work on Great Hall. And don't forget that. Don't undervalue it. It's really, really important. Plus, there's progress missions that require you to do it. Unfortunately, the progress missions are really dumb. And they make you start working on attack first, which kind of sucks. But honestly, start working on accuracy because the f once you push accuracy to the max... It allows you, for example, to not use a banner that's accuracy. So instead you can put an attack banner on and really pump up someone's damage. But I still think accuracy is the best value in the Great Hall um, early game and end game. Early game it helps because you don't even have banners on champions that are not level 60. Plus you don't have spider gear early on. It's really hard to get to higher levels of spider to properly farm it. So accuracy really is, I think, the best way to go still. I don't think I've heard anybody kind of say different, but if you're working on clan boss, you want to go with accuracy and defense. HP is also really valuable because it helps everybody. And no champions ignore, a lot of champions ignore defense. No one ignores HP. So that's actually a really good way to go as well. I still, depending on the type of clan boss team that you, or the champions you get for clan boss, you can actually start maybe pushing HP higher than defense even, I would say. But it depends. It's so just everything is so account specific and what you end up pulling. But I think it's a safe bet to say don't push attack farther than you have to for the sake of progress missions, but do push your accuracy um, as high as you can. Another quick note for Arena: you get to do five battles a day as part of your missions. Obviously, you should do more if you can. But if you're just trying to hurry up, make sure you do six at least, not five. Clan activity: um, you go to members, you get stars. You want to try to get three, two stars over three, of course, or st two stars instead of one. I mean, obviously three would be better, but look at this, six arena battles. Do you want to get three clan stars for clan activity? Um, you need to get 12 arena battles, not 10. And of course, do two demon lord fights. Of course, I've got to still do my little baby clan boss fights, so I'm going to get into that next. But I just wanted to point that out. That's something that I didn't realize early on people would be I was when I first joined a proper clan, people were talking about clan activity and stars, like two star minimum, and I there would be times I didn't get two stars, I didn't realize why. But I was only doing five arena battles sometimes and I was rushing. So just don't forget to do your six at least. And it's time for me to get streaming. I'm gonna finish the other half an hour of gameplay on this after reset, like I mentioned. Um but yeah, we didn't, I wasn't able to get too much progress now, but I've got a lot of progress since you last saw me, actually. Um, I'm getting more gear, a little bit more gear here and there. I actually put Aethel in a Toxic set. I know this feels random, but hey, when going against Clan Boss, the poisons are helping for now. Um, and it's helping against some other content as well when I get to bosses, but it's just, it was kind of random, but... You work with what you got, and I had a bunch of toxic gear, so I was like, why not help clan boss a little bit for now until I have enough debuffs to be filling up that bar without the baby poisons, which I don't really like. Um, but yeah, we're, we're progressing. We're get, I'm actually working on more food for Elhane, so we should hopefully have her to level 60 soon. I really thought, it's like, oh, I can do that in a few days, right? A few days of serious grinding, sure, but when it comes to... Um, <laughs> an hour a day, not so much, but, um, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the little check-in on my account. Um, yeah, where's my little toxic gear, Aethel? Oh, dear God. Yeah. Um, and I will definitely pull shards on stream when I can. I, I have got a few other ancients that I've pulled. I haven't got anything too exciting or obviously I would, oh, I did get, Castigator, I did get one really good um ancient pull here. I forget I don't think I mentioned him. I might have. 
Do I pull him on stream? I don't remember now. Anyway, Castigator is like a baby Sinatia. He has the equalizing HP, uh, which is super helpful. Uh, he's, he's just a really good champion, so uh, I actually think I'm going to keep him. He's not one I'm going to crunch. I'm probably going to crunch Guardian at the end of the day, because by the time I get to Faction War 21 and actually need help with the Valk waves and all that for Faction Wars, I feel like I'm going to have another Guardian by then more than likely with all, this with all the Ancient Chindo pulling. If not, oops, oh well, I don't know that I'm going to keep him, like people said. But I am getting in plenty of other people to use as food with grinding um, some campaign here. I've got some extra sorceresses. Uh, Slitherbrew, I don't know that he he's all right, but not really worth keeping. We're just trying to get Elhane some more food, so I'm going to focus on doing that. And if I have to eat Guardian, he will be my next choice. We'll see. Why the hell not? He's not that good, um, except for, I mean, he, I get it. Block buffs is really helpful, but it's four times at random. It's not every enemy. And that's, I don't think I'm just going to need that right away. For other content besides Faction Wars, I already have Ugo for block buffs. So we'll see. Not likely keeping Guardian, though. I'm just saying. Not unless I have plenty of other food for Elhane to get to 60. All right, guys, but I will catch you in the next video. Thank you for watching.